25 SPI. It's called measure by measure. There are three things to think about when we try to transpose. They are scenery, and scenery, and scenery. Yes, yes, that's it. That's it. I'm just, I, mean, I didn't say that. I mean, I didn't say the key signatures or meters or class. They, they, are, they are important. But when you're talking about those things come first before you are even ready to think about transpose. So let's do what you're going to go. Let's talk about the fingers. Actually, let's wiggle the fingers together. Be ready. In, in, in rhythm, right? So five, one, something like that. Ready? Three, pop. Five, one, one side. Four, one, two, five. students. So for, for 15 years of me in their learning, I watched them struggling with one, with a, like one excerpt of fingering complexity over and over again. Sometimes they played me in the previous year with fifth that fingering. Then he, he or she put it on the stage. They sounded not bad. So we left the piece behind and we come back revisited the in the next year, and then we still have to do the re do the fingering again, and then again, and then again. Can I show you one personal story with you? I had a student when I started teaching her when I was when I was 20 years old. That's about 16 years ago. That the girl was 17 years old. She was she tried to pass the uh, SAT, not the SAT, the final like the collegiate audition thing. In China, we don't have an auditioning thing. We call it the uh, collegiate entrance exam. It's a national exam. You're competing with other 50 million people, you know, things like that. And they rank. So the first rank receivers go, get, get to go junior, not as junior, junior, junior. But you know what I mean? Get to go to that school. I helped that girl get into a, a, my old school. They must have her when she was Then she did it. And then, then she had another teacher help. I taught her for like a year and a half, right? She did it. She went to the school. She had another teacher for four years. She got married. She had a daughter. Last year, and when I was back there, traveling back, I gave. I met her daughter. She herself taught her daughter how to play piano. She had a little girl was like five or six years old piano of my son's age, and they played the same thing. The Bugle Bugle, Eiji. I wa I watched that girl make the same fingering mistake as her mom. The same mistake. <laughs> you see, I mean, things kind of like that. So I was like, 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 I was like, I was like, are you ready? I was like, are you ready, are you ready to write a finger me down? And uh, that, um, right? and then I was like, ready? You couldn't have written your finger that finger down for your daughter? Seriously? <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, sometimes you pass on that. I don't know it's really called a phobia, the phobia of using the pencil. Just I'm trying to make something stabilized or steady, like steady. I don't know. I'm just telling you it's a true story. 15 years. What, what karma? <laughs> Same mistake. Same mistake. That girl's seven years now. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm seeing her again. Next time. I can't wait. So if you guys want to write a fingering down, it's okay. But at least memorize it as much as you can, as fast as you can. So let's get.
Thing and then move half step to the F major. Ready? Find the F major in position. Forget about the notes and think about the fingering. Three, two, one. It's not even
what I've tried to do to this thing to do the translation with it as hard as you're looking at Spanish text and trying to translate that into English at the same time. Or it could be even worse. It would be like looking at Spanish and trying to say it in Italian. In your another language that, that, that is not your mother tongue. Yes. It's in Italian. There's a lot of similar words spelled in Spanish. That's where I got confused. It'd be like that. Don't torture yourself that way. Don't. So in the way of speaking, if I ask you if you work on the fingerings, work on the fingerings. Determine the notes first. The finger position first. You want to test that theory, unless it is the one other exercise. Not on this book. Not on the syllabus. We said we did it. Do you need a D and F? What if I want you guys to play S sharp minor the piece? Okay, people I said S sharp minor. Which means you don't get to do G flat major. You don't get to sound the same. I want you to turn this piece into minor. Is that doable? Based on the system I'm trying to incorporate in here, it is. First of all, we find F sharp minor and put all the fingers there. Then we forget about the notes, forget about the what's the, the um, valid relations in this piece, and then we only do the finger numbers and what supposedly the ideal com result to come back as a S sharp minor piece. For example, I'm ready. You, you have S sharp minor. F sharp minor. Stars are like that. In their third stanza, our fourth stanza, I guess it's called. You notice that how they use the exact scheme, the exact same texture, the same material, but only changed it from what a minor to the major. And that is because in that song, the traveler of the winter time started started. He didn't take the road during the night time while he was west when he reaches the by the major tonality the sun rise already and that's why it's called word painting. You gotta give the sunrise a major tonality. Smart, right? And that can be done easily, guys. This is what you do. Thank you for your cooperation on this one. One will be on your own, 20 seconds. The Johnson piece again is very, very, even easier. It is called uh, melody. And the piece is written in what? I just try to mention. Now put your hands on the finger position. 
I don't even ask want to ask you to do the fingering verbal verbalization and no more. Let's just play. I walk around a little bit. Three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then you're supposed to actually you're supposed to um, be do the aria taco, the ticapo ta 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 taco that you're supposed to go back. Oh, by the way, anyone? I mean, do you, anyone know how to do the DC the the aria ta 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 capo thing? What does the DC aria ta capo mean? Uh, the top. And then towards where? Uh, yeah, to the bullseye, says to Coda. And then you jump to Coda. Yes, cor yes, correct. The instrumental aria, uh, the, the, the couple form uh, the, derives from uh, aria, from aria. So aria da capo. We first had aria da capo. Then we start to, then we start to, to uh, then we uh, expand and extend it to instrumental composition. <coughs> yes, that's how that, that yeah, that's how it's done. And what have we done? What must we do to put it, I mean, to transport it onto a major? Because I say we had our sadness already. We had them enough. What are we going to do to the major? For example, I don't know, of a C major. That'd be, that'd be quite easy, right? Yes, another whole step down. And then change the key signature to nada, kneel, nothing. And then just put your hands on the key C, C major, five finger, three finger position, and use the exact same fingering and order of notes to reproduce the sound effect. Ready? In three, two, one, and. Any 
anything, anything until you, anything you want. Um, I also want to mention that, I mean, this is like a, the thinker approach of, of transposition. It's one great way of thinking. And one, it is one way that uh, you can come up to how, to, how you uh, lay down the groundwork for before transposition even happens. But again, even the best finger, finger, fingering calculators must have relied on their understanding to the actual notes. You can never take the pitches or the actual notation out of your head. That's not an option. You cannot. You cannot. Our mind was trained to think on things. It's not, not, not to avoid thinking things. If I ask you to not think of a, of a pink elephant, would you be able to do it? No. All you can think of right now is a pink elephant. Until you replace it with a blue elephant or something like that. But now you have a blue elephant stuck in your head. This is human nature. You can't undo. There are things you cannot undo. So the same thing. So when I'm doing my like my transpositions, I also have the, the notes number, the sawfish, basically in my head. As a pianist, uh, when we're when you start young, your teacher would have asked you to learn the sawfish and to apply it on every single note that you're doing. They will they will make you do that. But other than, but with, uh, with with that in mind, with that in mind, so basically it's the process of side region translation. It's a combined technique with a lot of musical aspects, you know, capacities where you put them together. Fingering is one important way to regulate, to make sure your physicality is allowing you to do the transposition. A very dangerous move when you're doing transposition, people, is to change your very, very, very dangerous. It's, it could ruin you. So, mark my words. Mark my words. Voila! That's pretty much it. And then uh, I just want to I mean, talk to you a little bit. We're done with the performance technique. I, I have one discussion that I need to conduct. And that is music number 126. It has something to do with, with, with we talk about the memorization on Tuesday. We barely touched it. We merely touched it. But now let's talk about it. We're talking about memorization. If you want, want to look at 126, it's not that hard. And in fact, I would like them to invite just like one people today. I don't want to waste your time, especially when you have a quiz to go on. I want to invite one people. The one people that would like to fill the fill in for my spot, I'll take take a break or something. One people to do the cheapest thing and to share how, how you would like to invite, I mean, like to, uh, I'll be your assistant, and how you would teach to the memorization of the skeletal. I want to have one people step on here, and I'm going to time it for five minutes, see if you can get things, some sort of things worked out in five minutes. Would like to have your first piano teacher experience trial-free, trial, credit card-free package. You know, anything that tells you free, comes with a credit card number, right? So don't ever believe in them. They're counting on you to make the mistake. Forget about the auto, the auto subscription, the auto renewal, then this stuff. That's why Asapo was still charging me $5 a month after two years, because I, I can't even remember my account number, because I cannot, I cannot shut it down. So who wants to, who, who want this? We're looking at 126. The piece is called Skeletal. Skirts, yes. Yeah. And the piece sounds pretty cute. It goes. Part one. That's how it ends. Two parts, four lines, if I may, 16 measures, four phrases, if you want. 
are the things I mean, we could talk about. There are a lot of things that we could talk. To, we, could, we, could, we could we could talk talk about. And good news, guess what? I have already, I memorized this already. I have a way of uh, fastly, you know, quickly grasp on. But I want to ask you guys for your volunteer. I'm all good for sign for silence. And just to, for your information, when I, when someone's determined to do something, we're all avoiding eye contact. It's not going to have to change the talking points and try to change so. Uh, what do you think, guys? I mean, if you guys want to talk about, you know, what do you think to be helpful in memorization of this piece? I cannot put your microphone so everybody can hear it. Okay. Uh, when everybody is in the room, we have our mic on, maybe they cannot hear it. Maybe I will put you on the mic so everybody can hear you. Can you talk? No. You don't have a mic? Oh. All right, got it. Yes. Might come up and talk to my mic. So we'll be asking if she hears she says something. I want you guys to hear it. Thank you. You're the teacher now. Oh, it's been a while since I'm still here. Like. Okay. Okay. So folks, welcome. This is your new teacher. Okay. Now you're doing my, you're doing my job. You know, pay, didn't pay. Sorry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you look at the piece, it starts. Right, and you are just gonna go five, five, zero. So it's basically a E minor arpeggio on your with your left hand, and then you go up uh, to C, and it's a C. It's actually C major uh, hindering. So like, and then you do the same thing, just literally move a half step up. And then you go back down, and then you go down one more, and then you just repeat that. So the bass, it's going to sound like E, F, G, D, E, G, D, D, F, and then up. That's yes, I it. couldn't agree more. Yeah. You guys get it? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's just different, <laughs> different on on both hands. But you're, it's the same like uh, interval. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, guys. Now the only way for a teacher to know if their students can, if their students learn what you learn, is by asking them to do it. And uh, as the teacher. You gotta do it. You gotta, you know, you gotta do. You gotta do it with them. Okay. So, would you mind and just lead them one time? Lead them one time. Play <laughs> this without the score, even. Maybe we to put the score in front of you, but now, but try not look at it. And then you really use them in the system. She just told you. She just told you. You guys all heard what she said, right? Oh yeah. Any questions about what she said? No. Nope. Everything she said is totally correct. That's exactly what I want to know. Okay. All, all you have to memorize is the bass note, and then following the same combination on both hands, then voila, you got it. So. Wait, can I hear that? Yeah. Oh. You see, she's even better with that. I mean, she got there. We go. She got that metronome completely figured out. Okay, that's cool. Five. Five. Oh, here. Like this one. Okay. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three, go. 
As of, as of this moment, raise your hand if you got this piece memorized. Very good. I know, I know. Very good. I know you did. That was, uh, that was the perfect cue in the logical explanation, and it's a smart analysis that we did. The key, the secret of memorization is to try to eliminate all the complexities that we need to save it for the easiest thing. And then you, when, upon which you can rebuild your memory, rebuild the uh, complexity. If you know how the, the music that they were, the, they were written. So you see, a grown up, a mature person, mature person with 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 a key observation, can often invent their own memorization system. But the way I ask you. When to raise your hand if you got it memorized, I we saw fewer people who had that completed within a, the allotted short amount of time, and that raises another thing. My other conclusion of today's discussion on memorization: logic, while this is not connected to your instinct to your emotion. In other words, when you are not feeling whatever you propose yourself in a rational way of doing or matter, it's not going to stay long. That's a, a, another huge nature of your human mind. In the first nature, the secret of your mind, of your brain, is you cannot you cannot say no to the pink elephant. The second thing, or the last thing I will say today, is that you can is that you can remember memorize something that doesn't matter to you. For example, if I wanted to ask you to guys to memorize, how many of you can memorize the, the 100 digits after the point of, uh, of pi? Probably no one in, in this class. Yeah, maybe, yes. But how many of you can memorize your whole phone number? Probably, again, none of you. I was the first text. Three, I round. Five, five, three, five. If you do just the ten digits, you have to round the eleven one, sorry. Thank you guys for your wonderful
wonderful lesson. Let's get the twi- the, 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 let's get the kids uh, the quiz down and have a few the rest of the week. <laughs> Finally, I spent 30, 30 seconds of each person. Let's just give a go. Ready. You can have my book if you want, or you can have, have your own book. Thank you. No problem. You have to tell us the key. Just tell us the name. Ready? 114. One and five. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Daniel. Uh, I'll be doing. Uh, you don't have to say it, Daniel. This is Daniel Quiz Hello. Six. <laughs> yes. Ready? Starting with A. Next. No, you can just play here, right? <laughs> but you said it's going to be another key. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, wait, in a different key? Yeah, I didn't know both. Oh, you oh, you, you, also, you, you have to do two of them. Oh, okay. Either way, but sure, be my guest. Okay, I'll play, I'll play this one. In, I'll be playing this one in yes. eight. eight. That was done perfectly. Over 100. Thank you. Have a good rest of the week. Yes. Can one key be one piece? Per piece. Per piece. One, number one, and number five. You didn't say through one, number five. And if your name to the camp, please. Yeah. My name is Kenyon. This is quiz number six. Hey, Kenyon, let's give a go. Yeah. 